the first dart didn't go off at all. Only the second dart's gone off. Um, but I must say, uh, this is the highest dose I've ever given the hippo. We obviously have to go up much higher on these bigger bulls. That's a big, big animal. He's a big bull, though. This is a big adult bull, so we'll have to go a lot higher in the future. So once we get it blindfolded, we can have, you actually have the animal standing up? Absolutely, and then we can get a rope over his mouth so that he's safe. He's going down. So let's go and do our thing. The moment of truth. The crew could be walking up to two tons of unrestrained hippo fury. There's only one way to find out. Do me a favor. Yeah. Come and touch him and see how he responds to okay. touch. Okay. okay. It's good for you to okay. do it. And finally, Brady gets his hands on a hippo. Look how nicely he's sleeping. This is exactly like the other one is doing. He's really nicely out. Nicely out. What I found with the previous ones that I've done, I always try and approach them from the rear first and make sure that they're not too responsive to touch. However, when you go around the front, I can pretty much assure you he's going to respond. Really? Okay. But the fact now they need to approach the, the business end and get a blindfold over the animal's eyes. So. He might come with his mouth open, but okay. he's not going to bite hard and he's not going to be fast moving. So what I think you should do okay. is you grab that side, okay. I'll grab this side. We're going to sneak over. Can they swing around like a croc? They can, but not. he's going to be slow. What do you mean? Don't let him see me. <laughs> If the hippo suddenly comes to, there's a good chance he'll attack. My eye's covered. covered. Yes, it's covered. OK, remember, we're not 100% safe yet. This, because of the drug combination, they still remain responsive to a large amount of stimuli. Uh -huh. That's some good shooting when Dart and each buttocks. That is great. You know what? For my entire career, I've worked around these animals since I work on crocs. I've never seen one up close and personal like this. I mean, these guys are just like phantoms of the night. I just get glimpses of them as they attack the boat over the years. Never touched one, never seen one this close. See how greasy it is, eh? It's incredible. It's an awesome animal. We have some, uh, some rethinking uh, in the net design, I think. Oh man, I really thought he was in. I mean, I mean yeah. that's why we put the dart in. He was caught in the net, and that was it. I can't believe he got out. It's an incredibly powerful animal. A winning result. The animal is passive and quiet. At this point, okay. a team could restrain the hippo, give it medical care, or load it onto a vehicle for transportation. Right. Andre, do you know what we can do? Let's get a rope over his mouth. And look at these wounds, how they've healed up. It's obviously been in a fight. The secretions that come out of the skin have an antibiotic quality uh, and also a sunscreen. Huh? Protect the animal from UV radiation and also prevent it from getting infected. And now Brady gets to do something that few have ever done. Oh, look at that. Look at that tusk. 